He had gotten to the point where he needed extra care. He had was in a lot of pain with stress fractures. We knew that he was going to have to go on morphine. And uh, he had been in and out of the hospital the last two years so much. Four times he'd had pneumonia. And he just refused to go back to the hospital. And Dr. Halsey said, you don't have to. So he said, we need to call in hospice. But he wanted to be home. He'd always been very active, and he just wanted to be home. Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you. Welcome to Healthcare in Your Home, featuring Dr. Ray King, and brought to you by Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, where superior quality care is our passion. Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you. What is hospice? Hospice care is something that I talk about with the patient and the family and try to find out what, what their desires are uh, around the time of the end of their life. Uh, a lot of patients are scared. Um, a lot of families are scared. They, don't, um, they feel uncomfortable uh, dealing with these issues uh, with their severely ill um, family members. So we'll talk about what their desires are. If somebody feels they want to aggressively treat their problem, and you know, we wouldn't then use hospice care. We'd, we would hospitalize them as appropriate and, and ag aggressively treat their problem. But a lot of the problems are beyond the ability for us to, uh, to offer any improvement in their medical condition. At that time, we'll talk to the patient and the family about but do they want to stay at home uh, do they want to have people come in to help them with comfort and, the, and other issues? And so it's a decision that's made between myself and the family and the patient. The patients and families that we um, see and service with hospice, um, mostly what they like about our care is that they know there's someone always available to them, 24 hours, seven days a week. Many times when we're caring for hospice patients, it's one or two caregivers that are really caring for those patients and it gives them peace of mind knowing that there's someone available to call 24 hours, seven days a week, and that we're just a phone call away. They also um, like the fact that um, we're able to educate them every step of the way, letting them know what to expect, what not to expect, what's normal, what we're gonna do to intervene. Um, and many of our families say, I wish I had known sooner. I'd wish I had known about hospice sooner. You know, I wish I could have put him on service six months ago or eight months ago. Well, terminally ill um, can use home health care in a number of ways. There's um, uh, palliative care, which we can provide on the home care side of Great Lakes Home Health, or they can also receive health care in their home via hospice, which is provided through Great Lakes Hospice. Hosp the hospice benefit's a little bit different from home care in that uh, an individual has to be certified by their physician uh, as being in a state where if the normal course of their illness progresses um, it, at a reasonable manner, we could expect that their uh, life expectancy would be six months or less. So those are the, that's really the two major distinctions between uh, home care and hospice. The uh, beauty of hospice is that hospice is a lot more than just medical care. A uh, home care is primarily medical care. A uh, hospice is medical care, but it's also spiritual care. It's bereavement for the family. Um, it's um, counseling. Um, uh, a whole series of other services that are provided to the individual and to their family outside of the, the, the the more pure medical um, care that's provided? Well, first thing they did was bring the bed out, he, uh, hospital bed and uh, concentrator for his breathing, the oxygen, the nebulizer, and they also provided all the medicines. And then they had the nurse. She came once a week, Sue Schick, she was lovely. And uh, she gave him a thorough examination every time checked his heart, his lungs, his oxygen level, checked his feet, his throat. I mean, she gave him a thorough examination each week. And then uh, Barbara Gibbs, the uh, social worker, she come once a month, and they just more or less chatted. She wanted to see how happy he was, if he was happy with them. Um, anything that we needed, uh, the respiratory therapist would come out when we thought we were in trouble. 
One night it was seven o'clock, he brought out some kind of a mask to go on his nebulizer because he was having trouble. So they, they come just whenever anyone calls. I chose to work in hospice. I did work in a hospital setting for a while and I felt it was very task oriented. I didn't really have time to spend with families and patients and, and that's what I like to do. I like to educate. I like to I like the compassionate side of hospice. I'm very comfortable with end of life and with the whole dying process and I like to be able to make help families adjust to that and know that it's a normal process, a normal part of living. It's part of the cycle and to help them be comfortable with that. Oftentimes this allows that patient to be able to um, live the end of their life at home where they're more comfortable, the patient's family can be with them. I would highly recommend hospice to anyone that has any kind of a medical need, especially in a situation, if, well obviously a terminal illness. They are very compassionate, caring, loving people and they are there to help not only the patient but the family. And sometimes they were here over an hour and they always give us a hug when they left, Leonard and all of us. And when Sue came, she always had a little doggy bone for the dog, and the dog always jumped right up in the chair and took the doggy bone. Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you.